Hi, hello everyone. Why am I grinning? I don't know, it's been a while. I've forgotten how to do this. Uh, I'm going to play some... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm back. I'm back from America. Safe and sound. Uh, so is Greg. We're both alive. And as usual, how many times have I said this, but I don't want to give too much away. But the trip was a roaring success. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Now, I can give you a bit more. Uh, we've got some great content. I cannot wait to edit it up with the help of my new editor, Joe, and beam it out to your screens. I really can't. I can't wait to see what some of your reactions will be. How not to travel America gracing your screens very soon, not before the trailer, which will be out in a week or so. For now though, guys, while you wait for such grand content, uh, and while I uh, play catch up with the channel and with Patreon and various other things, it's GeoGuessr time. And I thought I'd play this one. Dumb test. We all know the dumb test map, right? It's, it's, it's quite hard to be dumb on that one. But this one, I'm hoping it's quite easy to be dumb because apparently it's for smart people. Let's see if you can recognize the original landmark and if you can pinpoint where its lookalike is. Now, how's that gonna work? How are you gonna... Do you have two guesses for each round? Or could it be either? We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys play along with this one. We're gonna say no moving and no time limit. And I'm just hoping for this to be just the right amount of difficult. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Here we go though. Let's find out. Right. Now that is a famous site. Those are the heads on Easter Island. Surely, surely they are the originals. Just going to check to see if I'm recording quickly. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a Taz hat, um, I've just come out of the shower and I don't want to give myself headphone hair. And this, ignore that. I am a quarter Italian, but I, I don't support the Italy football team. I just want to make that perfectly clear. Right, back to this. Let's move around and have a look. This, is, this has got to be the original, hasn't it? I heard not long ago that these heads aren't heads. Well, they are heads. Well, they're not real heads, but they're not just fake statue heads, but that they go deep underground and that they are whole bodies. You can kind of see it there. I don't know how true that is or how complete these figures are, but that's a fascinating thought that they've sunk and sunk and sunk over time. Right, I'm just trying to figure out what else is on this quite barren island. If, if this is Easter Island, hello. She looks quite Aussie or Kiwi. Potentially. Who knows? Um, she's got a guide. Can't see what that says. Can't read her phone. Text messages either, unfortunately. That looks like some sort of Maori thing. Kappa Nui or something. I don't know what else. Uh, we've got the sun. Sun is in the north. Kind of, just about. So that would support the idea that we're Easter Island. Is it Easter Island that these are on? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm going to get into the map because, well, for a start, I haven't got a clue where else this would, where would the, where would the copy be? It does look quite big. This place does look quite, it's bigger than I imagined Easter Island to be, but... I guess it doesn't, it, you know, we can't see that much of it. Also, I thought that they exhausted all the trees on Easter Island, like you would in a, in a very long game of Age of Empires. And that looks like pine over there, but I guess that, that was years ago. So, where is Easter Island? We've got the Cook Islands. This might take me a, a little while to find. I know it's very remote. Hangar Roa, is that it? I 
I think it would say Easter Island unless it's one of those things where they've changed its name. Pitcairn, French Pol Polynesia, Kiribati. I thought it was further south. That won't be it, will it? It is in the Pacific, isn't it? And not, not in the Indian. No, Christmas is in the Indian. I reckon they may have changed the name of it on the map to be, I was going to say PC, but just to be more accurate. One thing I know about Easter Island is that it's one of the more remote islands. So I, I that's the Galapagos. I think it is this and that they've changed the name of it on the map to Hangar Roa, annoyingly. Um, and that would kind of explain some of some of these, yeah, nomad glamp, mm, yeah, that that kind of thing. King's tomb with stone figures and ruins. Yes, right. We've just got to look now at the coastline um, and see see if we can figure out whereabouts along it we are. This this should be good. So the big cliff you can see there. So I was wrong in saying that, oh, this place is too big to be Easter Island. Um, because as I then went on to say, that could be the very end of it. Well, I didn't actually say that, but I implied it. And that is the very end of it. Don't know what that big lake is doing up there. That's mad. So if that's the cliff, you've got that spit of land there, which looks like it could be that. Yeah, that would... That would make sense. That would make sense. And there's a path. Would we be there? I think we're too near the coast for that. Wherever we are, we're in line with the cliff. So if we drew a line from the cliff edge, this is quite cool actually, to that. So that would put us, ah! That would put us more like there. And that could be it. Where's the path shape? I don't know, but it's a path that's leading up to something. Ah, King's to no, we've got to be here. We've got to be here. I'm just gonna click. That's too far away anyway. This one's too far away because that spit, although it looks quite far, will be, I think, less than halfway to the cliff. So I think, I think we are there. Let's have a go. Ah, oh, you fuckwit. 4980, I was wrong about the, the spit. It was over halfway. It's hard to know, I guess. I was just talking rubbish. Maui Tukaturi. Ah, if I'd have just looked over here. Iconic, iconic Polynesian statues. Right, 4980 points isn't bad. Perfect score is out the window. Oh my God. So this is the, so maybe this map is programmed to give you the original and then somehow they give you the uh, alternative, the, the, the copy or the other way around because then you'd know um, which one would be first. But I don't know how they wire it to to come out that way, unless it's a complete coincidence. So this is the copy of what we've just seen. And I think you'd you'd have to be pretty dumb to, to think that this was the original because Asian tourists, well that doesn't really that doesn't narrow much down, but you've got You've got Asian writing as well, haven't you? Yeah, you've got like Japanese writing there. It's hard to see. It's a bit blurry. The shadow has prompted me to check the sun, which seems to be, which is in the Southern Hemisphere. So that is a pretty decisive factor. Oh, look at this little toddler toddling over to 
Oh, it's just Google. So, yeah, it's like a homage, I guess, to these statues. This would be interesting to see where this is. Hmm. It's quite tropical. Isn't it? It's grass, lovely grass. I don't think I've been in a place really like this. Grass and then the odd palm tree. Don't know what these are. Little placards. Hmm. And then covered in trees, that's that would have been another giveaway that it's not. Uh, Easter Island. Uh, okay. Well, judging by the language, I think... Is that like... Oh, that looks Japanese. That, I'm not sure. It looks Greek almost. That's really confusing. What is that? That's like a language I've never seen. Is that the language that of the Easter Island people? Did they have a written, you know, script? They must have done at some point, later on, maybe. God. I haven't played GeoGuessr, by the way, for... I always say this, don't I? Because I always have such big gaps, such big breaks, but... Yeah, it would have been just before I, I left for America. That's why I'm playing these sorts of maps, by the way, because anything that requires a lot of skill and speed and meta and all that, um, and pressure, basically, I'm going to be shit at. Um, well, I wonder if we can be on one of these, you know? Puerto de... This looks almost Spanish mixed with... Uh, Japanese. Interest in history, I imagine. Something shrine. Akiba shrine. I don't see an airport down there. Got all these islands. Is there anything else I can use? Ah. Is that a map of the island? It looks a bit square, doesn't it? It looks a bit like runescapey, <laughs> like boxy and unimaginative, unrealistic as an island shape, but it it could be. Always could be. I'm gonna have a little search for islands that are shaped like a runescape island. That's not too dissimilar. Look at that. That is almost identical to that, but flipped, flipped around. Do, do Japanese people read maps upside down? Possibly. But that is, look, you can see the, the big boxy bit there. Apologies if I'm wrong about this. I think I am wrong, actually. It's too, it comes too far down here. But the way that that hooks round there, it's pretty, it's pretty close. Ogasawara. Screw it, I'm going to go back to the upside down map. And that would put us, well, we're looking out to the east. Can't see any other islands out there. Ugh. Screw it, we'll go here. How wrong could this be? Ah, oh, what? Look at that, we were actually on Japan. The map was, I don't know, I don't know what it was. I don't think, I don't think it was a map, in all honesty. Um, but yeah, there we are, look, the Sun Mesa 
Nishinan. Seafront models of Easter Island statues. What a what a piece of information to know. This is I don't know when this will ever come in useful, but maybe if I'm ever on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? That would be the final question. Next round, round three. We are not on the best score. And it'd be interesting to see whether it is completely right, whether that was a coincidence that we got those two in a row. I reckon that that is the fake Taj Mahal, potentially. What do you reckon? Couple there. That's, I think that's Muslim headgear, which would exist in India, but less likely. Can't remember where the Taj Mahal is, is the issue. Abdullah al Mamun also sounds definitely Muslim. Um, but apart from that, what else have we got? It's definitely not the Taj Mahal. Um, the sun is in the north. The sun is in the north. Ah, the comp no, the compass must be wrong because there's no way. That's got to be wrong. Which is fine, I'm not having a go at the creator of this map, but we can't be in like South Africa or something. There's just no way. So, we've got to find a palace. So I'm thinking Pakistan or at least near nearby. Maybe it's in India, but it's near Pakistan. So, Ahmedabad. Abdullah, Ahmed. Similar names. But yeah, I'm going to go... Where is it? Ahmed? Ahmed? Ahmed Mashed. Uh, no. Ahmedabad. I'm going to go there and find a palace and dig in. Where's a palace? I can't find a palace. Oh. No, that's a temple. There we go. I'm way out of... Uh, Ahmed Mabad, um, in a place called Talsana. Talsana Temple. It's just going to be a church, isn't it? Oh, screw it. I'm not going to be anywhere near it anyway. Oh, it's Bangladesh. Oh, it's bloody well Bangladesh. Didn't consider that, did I? Didn't consider it. The Bangla Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal replica surrounded by parkland. So if it's a replica, why did I instantly think that it couldn't be it? Wasn't it? I was very sure that it wasn't the real one. Maybe because it's smaller. Yeah, probably because it's smaller. Um, terrible points haul. And yeah, this is, so that was a coincidence then, the first two rounds. Didn't really have a bearing on anything, but that's... That's interesting. So that has got to be Taipei. It's, uh, that, well, was for a while the tallest building in the world for a, about five or six years. Don't quote me. Let me know in the comments what its actual span was. But that I can find. I've never seen it on GeoGuessr before. But here we go. Taipei. This will be a quick one, because I've probably rambled long enough. Let's just get the get that tower in view. Oh my god. It's pointing to the heavens. So how do I find this? Where's the business district? Can I just Taipei 101? Is that it? That's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of see here all the different, I'm so sorry about this camera angle, all the layers that it has, the Asian style layers. Um, and we're just south of it. We are, this is Google imagery, so we're about there. Are we next to a park? Nope, we are not. Alliance. Don't say this is the fake one. 
Surely not. Well, it can't be, can it? Xinyi Car Park. Don't say they built one in China. No. Xinyi Car Park. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, a lion's. There we go. There is no way in hell that, the, that all of this was recreated, so I'm fairly confident that we can go with my guess. There it is. So that kind of is a park. It's very small. It just didn't jump out as one for some reason. So we've got our first perfect score of the day. Come on. Pleased with that. Am I? I don't know. That was quite easy. Uh, let's see if we can get another perfect score on this last one on a round that isn't so easy. Come on. This is quite hard because you either know it or you don't. And you certainly ain't going to... If you know where the, the, the replica is, you're just a nerd, really. But anyway, I'm having fun. So this guy is called Mehmet Abbasi. So I'm guessing this is the fake Colosseum. It's just clicked. Fake Colosseum, or at least a Colosseum. I'll be happy to get over 15,000 points, by the way. The imagery on some of these isn't great, the, the quality. So I can't really see much of what's going on with those buildings over there. Sun is gonna be in the south, yeah. Foliage. It's not very clear, but it could definitely be Italy or it could be a number of countries. Those trees do look Italian to me, but it could be Turkey, for example. <laughs> could be Israel, could be... No. Too mountainous for Israel. Or Lebanon or something. But foliage-wise, it could be... Could be Greece. I think what's difficult about this map is that there's a lack of clues Blue, white, and red. What country would have those colours, I wonder? If they were choosing to make their cranes thematic. Italy has each of those colours in its... The blue isn't in the flag, but that is their colour, isn't it? Point in case. Turkey. White and red, they have in the flag. Greece has blue and white, but the white and red are together. Ooh, look at this, Sanbo, San, Southbo. I'm sick of writing that you just can't quite read. Bav, Bavbo, Southbo, shit. Well, it's not Arabic. That's that's one good thing. So it's it's not Arabic. So that rules out all the you know Tunisias and the uh, Algerias, which we've been caught out by before. So, I mean, if anything, that kind of sounds Serbian or or something. Although they would have the Cyrillic. Ah, what about Croatian? Are there any? Are there any? Colosseums in Croatia. Well, that's that's a good point, actually. I've never considered the Roman Empire in Croatia, but it's right next to Italy, pretty much. So it must... Obviously, they controlled this, but what stamp, what mark did they make? That's what I want to know. Do you know what? I'm not doing very well. I'm... I'm kind of going with my heart today. I'm, I'm going to keep with that theme. I've never heard of a, a an amphitheatre or... Did I say Colosseum earlier? Sorry, I didn't mean Colosseum. That's ridiculous. All of you are laughing at me, aren't you? Not Colosseum, no. Um, sorry, I got my words mixed up. The Colosseum went all the way around, didn't it? And it was bigger and it didn't have any of the trees up at the top. Sorry for frustrating you. Um, with my choices of words, as usual. What do I mean, then? Amphitheatre. <laughs> so, I no longer know what this is a copy of, but it's a Roman thing. I'm going to go somewhere around Split. I do, as I say, I don't know of any Roman amphitheatres in Croatia, 
but there's got to be one, and I'm going to go Slano. I'm so sorry if this is in Italy. And it's in Turkey. Great. That was one of my instincts. There it is. I've done so bad on this game. Lots of you are going to have beaten me. For sure. I mean, I'd say most of you. Ephes Antique. There it is. What's it called? Ancient city with Greek and Roman remains. Is that the original then? We'll never know. We'll never know. This is the original. I was wrong on all counts. That wasn't a copy of anything. Um, so there's a copy of this. No, that's... That's the original. Yeah, I think this is a smaller one. Because look at that. That's the biggie. That That's the original. But it's smaller, I think. Uh, I'm lost. I don't know. Guys, let, let us know in the comments whether this is the original or not. Let's view the summary. 15,595. Well, I got my wish of get, getting over 15,000. Yay. Um, I had fun doing that. That was an interesting map. That's not something I'm used to playing. Maybe, did, did I get a bit of bad luck there with some of the rounds? Maybe. Um, but then others not. So, can't complain too much. Definitely learnt a fair amount there, except on the last round, which just confused me. Um, let me know how you did. Did you beat me? I think this will be one of the biggest hauls of comments uh, from people claiming or stating that they've beaten me. So, well done if you did. Let me know what you want to see, GeoGuessr-wise, or just in general. As I say, um, I'm still playing catch up right now, but there will be Geo Detective very soon. Um, more Geo Guesser, so let me know what you want to see. But then, not too long away this time, guys, will be How Not to Travel America. You know, usually these things take me three months, two, three months. And this is the biggest series yet with the most amount of footage and the most amount of episodes. But I've got help with the editing, and we're confident that we can get this these rolled out starting from mid-November, mid to late November. So not too long to wait, around a month really. Uh, you can expect the trailer for that very soon, so look out for it. I'll see you there.